guys, it's me, Lulu. It is indeed Wednesday, and this is Geeks of the Week. I didn't really know what to talk about this week. Um, I rewatched most of Orana High School Host Club while my internet was down, so I thought I could, like, post a spazzy video about how much I freaking love that show. But I figure that's something everybody already kind of knows and loves, so I don't know if that's the best idea for a video. So then I figured I'd talk about Persona again, but you guys don't seem to like that. So you guys aren't giving me anything. I didn't know what to talk about. So. Um, Steph asked us a really good question, so I'm probably going to spend the bulk of the video responding to that. Um, first, addressing the other geeks. Uh, it looks like Julio is off being a Green Lantern again, and Nikki is over in Florida picking out her first one, so it's a pretty quiet week here uh, at Geeks of the Week. Nikki, I hope you are having a fantastic time at the Wizarding World, um, and I'm very honored that you, pull, you pulled a Lulu Co. Um, and remembered that I wanted you to have a glass of butterbeer for me. Um, you know, Nikki and Steph have both pulled a Luluco and worn wigs on the show before, uh, so I think Julio and Mario should too. Actually, we should just have Luluco Week, where everybody wears wigs and talks about how awesome I am. I think that's a great idea. I'm going to email the guys about that right now. I'm just kidding. It would be really cool, though. <laughs> um, Oh boy. Um, sadly, I do not yet share Mario's Game of Thrones love. Um, it's something I've wanted to get into for a while, but HBO shows are such a pain in the butt to try and watch online, and I already have to jump through a bunch of hoops to try and watch True Blood during the summer, so Game of Thrones might have to wait a while. Uh, yes, I admit that I like True Blood. I'm not, like, super obsessed with it, and I'm not much of a vampire's person, not much of a werewolf's person, not much of a fairy's person, but True Blood is just super crazy and campy and bloody and sometimes really stupid, and Anna Paquin is really hot, so it's pretty much the perfect thing to watch during the summer, so I'm kind of excited that it's back. <laughs> It's one of those things that just defines summer for me. Uh, bad television is just what I watch all summer. I'm really excited for the turn of Big Brother, too. Haters gonna hate. Um, anyway, on to answering Steph's question. She talked about, you know, angry nerd hipsters and people who are upset that it's becoming more socially acceptable or cool to be a geek um, or to express a like for geeky things. And, she, you know, she wants our opinions on whether or not that's a good thing or what we think about it. Um, so my answer to this is generally, yeah, it's, I think it's a great thing. Um, not to say that it doesn't annoy me sometimes, like, when people think they're so nerdy for playing Call of Duty, or, um, somebody doesn't actually know they're wearing a Superboy t-shirt and not just a black Superman t-shirt. Um, but having the things we like become mainstream means they're more acceptable to like. So therefore it's more acceptable to be a geek and you know if a society can just learn to accept anybody who's different from the norm um, that is something I'm all about. Um, so I, I really don't see it as a bad thing at all. Um, Steph brought up the point that some people might get butt hurt because they got teased for liking this stuff as a kid and now all of a sudden it's cool to like this stuff and you, you know, you know, what if the person who beat you up for having a Spider-Man lunchbox is now, you know, going around to comic book shops or <laughs> buying t-shirts at Hot Topic. Um, so I can understand that that would upset them, but I kind of see this the other way around. I really didn't get bullied as a kid except for one year in my life, and that was when I was in the sixth grade. Uh, I was Harry Potter was really the first super nerdy thing I got into. Like I liked Pokemon and other animes when I was a kid, but Harry Potter was like really big for me. Um, uh, like right when I started sixth grade, that was around the time that the movie was coming out, and so they came out with all this promotional stuff. You could buy Harry Potter everything now, and I had been so obsessed with it, and there was like nothing for it, and then all of a sudden there was all this stuff, so I went nuts. I had a Harry Potter backpack, I had pencils, I had t-shirts, I had literally pretty much everything you could have that was Harry Potter. And for all of sixth grade, I was teased for it mercilessly. I was also teased for some other things, but a lot of it stemmed from the fact that I liked something and I wasn't afraid to show how much I liked it. And 
I mean, I was clinically depressed at 12 years old just because I didn't want to hide the fact that I liked Harry Potter. And that's a terrible thing for anybody to go through, but, you know, over the past few years, you know, when I started growing up, I made more geeky friends, got into more geeky stuff, and, you know, the other kids who liked Harry Potter also grew up. And it wasn't until I got older that I realized I wasn't alone, that I wasn't the only kid who liked Harry Potter. Um, I was just the only one who was so open about it back then. Um, you know, and then just, just last summer, you know, the last movie came out and that was, uh, I don't cry during much stuff, but I saw it twice in the first day. I sobbed like a baby both times. It was just like coming full circle for me, going from being 12 years old and being teased for liking this stuff and being 21 and sitting in a theater full of people who felt the way I did, who understood me, who liked these things. That to me is incredible and you know just being able over the past few years to find a home amongst people who like all these same things I do is just an amazing thing. And so that home getting bigger and including more family members is just, I don't see anything wrong with it. To me, it's only a good thing. Um, sorry to get so emotional. Uh, I just really love Harry Potter and sixth grade really sucked. Um, you know, I just, I don't think my 12 year old self would ever believe that I would grow up to not only like more and nerdier things, but that I would find a home amongst people who also like those things. And, you know, to me, that's really wonderful. So, you know, you're always going to run into the people who don't know as much as you do. But, you know, like Steph said, you know, maybe you're super hardcore into the Batman comics and then you run into somebody who really, really likes the Nolan films and hasn't seen much else, but they really, really love Batman because of the Nolan films, you know? You still have something in common, and that's what we should be celebrating instead of trying to find ways to divide each other. I see that a lot in, in cosplay and fandoms and everything. In trying to find a home with each other, we find more ways to divide ourselves, and that's not what this should be about. So, you know, try not to be so judgmental of the kid walking at a Hot Topic with a Superboy t-shirt, you know. You never know, they could love that stuff as much as you do, and if they don't, you know, become friends with them, guide them, show them the world of geeky things. Uh, I understand that part of being a geek and loving being a geek is being different from everybody else, um, but, it, and we still will be different from everybody else. I don't think people really get that. It's never gonna be, like, I don't think it'll ever be normal to be a geek, to like wear Superman boxers to work or something like that. You know, there's always going to be the people like us who go to comic book shops every week, who go to midnight releases of video games, who dress up in costumes. There's always going to be the more hardcore people like us t for us to really, really relate to. And then there's the people who, you know, aren't so hardcore, but that's okay, because we all like the same stuff. So deal with it. Um, you know, geekery becoming mainstream to me just means that more people like the same stuff we like, and that's a good thing. Like I said, just deal with it. It's not a bad thing, guys. Um, oh boy, I have to go get ready for work now. Um, so I guess I'll end things here. Um, I'm in the process of planning an interview for a show very, very soon. I'm hoping to get to the, the details hammered out so I can announce it on the next show and then upload it for the following week's show as a sort of preview to Anime Expo. So please look forward to that. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and share, and I will see you geeks next week.